Today I'm making elderberry plum jam. Ingredients you'll need are one and a half kilos of plums, half a kilo of elderberries, one kilo of jam sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Let's start by halving the plums and removing the pit. Check for damage to the fruit, send a scarred or cut away any bits that you wouldn't want to eat. I'm just cutting up two unripe apples that fell off the tree this morning, just because I don't like to waste. And a bit of extra pectin never hurts, but obviously you can skip this part. Moving on to the elderberries. De-stem the berries and again check the berries for damage, foulness or insect damage and discard accordingly. In a large pot on medium heat, allow the berries to release their juice. I let it simmer for about 20 minutes. While that's happening, I'm cutting the plums into smaller chunks and layering them with the jamming sugar. I'm using kitchen scales to keep an eye on the relation of fruit to sugar. sugar mix will go in the fridge overnight and the sugar will pull the juice from the fruits and really help bring out the flavor. The elderberries are done simmering and I'm straining through a coffee filter to get all the seeds out. Just on a side note, elderberries stain a lot. So if you're worried about your countertops, put out some towels to protect them. morning and it's time to get cooking. Combine elderberry juice and plum sugar mix in a large pot. Place on the hob on medium heat and stir occasionally. While the jam is doing its thing, boil some water to disinfect jam jars. Stir in one or two, depending on taste, teaspoons of cinnamon. After around 50 minutes, you can do the first gelling test. Place a plate in the freezer for a few minutes, drip some jam onto the plate and then see if it solidifies once cold. This one needs some more time. That's more like it. All that's left is to ladle the jam into the jars. Tightly screw on the lid and stand upside down for a few minutes. This will create a vacuum in the glass and the jam will last longer. And that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, I have a few more jam recipes on my channel if you want to check those out. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.